Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Courtney Ryan, and today we're gonna to be talking about having an attractive face and really the five things that matter the most. So I've actually done a video similar to this one in the past, but I was reacting to another creator. So I wanted to be able to put my own spin on it and go a little bit more in depth on some of the things on this list. I'm going to discuss five things that play a role in facial attractiveness. Of course, genetics play a role here, but I'm also gonna be sharing some ways that you can improve this about yourself if you so desire. Take it or leave it. Number one is facial hair, and this is actually one of the very first things that people notice about you because it's on your face, and it plays a huge role in facial attractiveness. I've mentioned this in many videos before, but studies have shown that stubble and a light beard is actually considered the most attractive facial hairstyle according to women. Something that I want you to keep in mind here is that different facial hairstyles can complement your features and your face shape. So the key is to find something that works for you specifically. A pro tip here is to use your facial hair to your advantage. Us women get makeup, so you might as well work with what you've got, right? Shaping your facial hair can create nice angles on your face, giving it a more masculine, angular appearance. And if you're a guy who might be watching this thinking, I really struggle to grow facial hair, there are actually some things you can do now to help with that. Things that can naturally boost your testosterone like eating healthy, exercise, and getting adequate sleep. I'll even give you a personal example. So I have very fine hair. I notice sometimes my hair will fall out in clumps when I'm really stressed, which is obviously not a good thing. So I started taking a hair growth supplement. I'll keep you posted on that and disclose more about it as I go. I'll probably post over on Instagram if you're interested in checking that out, um, giving a follow over there. I've only been taking it for a few weeks, so to be honest with you, I have not seen a difference yet, but stay tuned. And I also wanna mention the hair on your head as well. So a lot of the same points that I mentioned in the facial hair apply to this one as well. Find a style that complements your face shape and features. Again, your hair is one of the first things people notice when they look at you. I know it's not technically your face, but it's close enough to where I felt like I should include it. The next point that I'm gonna talk about today that can increase your facial attractiveness is just looking healthy which is something that I don't typically see people talk about, but actually everything stems back to looking healthy. You can probably picture in your head someone who's glowing and healthy versus someone who looks sick and tired. Physical attractiveness really comes down to, does this person look healthy? And there are obviously certain things that make you look healthy versus things that do not. Some examples here are no dark circles or bags under your eyes, clear and smooth skin, your eyes being very bright and white. Sometimes internal issues that we have can show themselves physically. I'll even give you some more specific examples. So say you're really tired, you have not been getting enough sleep, you feel really worn down, you might have bags under your eyes, your eyes might be bloodshot red, or you might have dark circles. If you have a very poor diet, you might notice your skin is very dull or acne prone. If you're having hormone issues, again, acne can be a sign of that. If you're sick, you might have bags under your eyes and look very pale. So these are just a few examples, but you guys get the point. So when we do things like exercise, eat a healthy and balanced diet and take care of our skin, we then look more attractive. And this should be no surprise, I mentioned this in many videos that all go back to being attractive and just kind of being the best version of you, right? And I will also say, taking care of your skin is something I know so many men do not do and can drastically improve your facial attractiveness. And that's why I'm so excited that today's video is sponsored by T. Hanley. I still don't think a lot of you guys believe me when I tell you how much having a quality skincare routine will improve your facial attractiveness, but also your confidence. T. Hanley makes taking care of your skin uncomplicated. They provide you with all the products you need and nothing that you don't. I personally recommend starting with their level one system that comes with all of the basics. It comes with a daily face wash, an exfoliating scrub, an AM moisturizer with SPF 20 because you guys are tough, but you're not tougher than the sun, as I like to say, and a PM moisturizer, so everything you need. And to make it super easy, they provide this instruction card in every box that tells you when to use each product, how much to use, and in what order, in case you forget. This isn't something you wanna put off because prevention is key. Get ahead of any signs of aging now. Your future self with your baby soft skin will thank you. In addition to amazing skin, members of Tish Hanley get tons of benefits, including at least 20% off the retail price, access to exclusive monthly deals, pause or cancel at any time, and free US shipping. And because Tish Hanley is sponsoring today's video, they're offering my viewers a great deal. Just click that first link down in the description and you'll get 30% off of your first box plus a free gift. Don't miss out on this amazing deal. Click that link and get started today. 
So to wrap this point up here, of course, take care of yourself from the inside out. That is the most important. Health is wealth. So if you're taking care of yourself on the inside, fueling your body with nutritious food, moving your body, making sure you're not living a sedentary lifestyle, you will obviously see improvement in your physical attractiveness as well. But don't be afraid to put in a little bit of effort to things like your skincare routine, trimming your eyebrows, and little things like that. All right, my next point that I'm gonna talk about is your jawline. And you probably hear me say that and you think, well, great, I don't have a jawline. I was not genetically blessed with one. I know we all have to work with what we have. Some of us are luckier than others, but believe it or not, there are some easy things you can do to improve your jawline that are, again, relatively simple. First off, you wanna fix your posture. If you're slouched over like this with your chin tucked into your neck, you're gonna look like you have no neck. You're gonna look like you've got double chin, no chin going on. So the first thing you wanna do is start by just sitting up straight, really making sure you are are, you know keeping your back straight you know your shoulders are back your neck is up and you have your chin kind of pushed out a little bit especially if you're gonna be taking photos or things like that so the first thing to do is to just sit up straighter make sure you have your chin up and you know you're just a little more zipped up and upright I think a lot of us have very poor posture including myself I'm throwing myself under the bus with this one because we are always sitting down at a desk or we're looking down at our phone I've had like neck issues in the past from being constantly looking down at my phone phone and just being in these very weird angles where I'm staring at a screen and let me tell you something that does not do anything for my facial attractiveness it makes me miss double chin so we don't want to be doing that sit up straighter you will notice a difference automatically it's also going to make you look slimmer too not just your face Another thing is mewing. There are many different studies about this, a lot of mixed reviews online, but I say it's worth a shot, right? It's easy to do, it's free, so you can just do this while you're at home, so you might as well. I'll put a little picture up that explains it as well because it's kind of hard to explain unless you have a visual of like the inside of your mouth, but basically what you do is you put your tongue to the roof of your mouth and you just kind of like suck this part of your neck in. So I will give a visual demonstration. So tongue up. You just do that. You can probably see the difference. Maybe you can't, and I look a little bit silly doing that. Um, but just to give you a visual example, I'll put a little graphic up on the screen for you. So that has been something that has worked for many people according to the internet. We don't know what we can believe nowadays. Do with that what you will. Another thing is strengthening this masseter muscle right here in your jaw. So when you strengthen this muscle, when you're chewing harder foods, when you're chewing gum, when you're building this muscle up, it's going to add nice angles to your face. Now, I also suffer from TMJ. So my masseter muscle is huge. It's painful. I have to get Botox injections in my masseter muscle recommended from my doctor before any of you comment about Botox. Do your own research, of course. That's just what works for me. So I actually have to slim my masseter muscle down but for men you normally want to do the opposite you want to build this up because it creates a more masculine jawline more masculine angular shape to your face so again do your own research on what is best for your health i know people have different jaw issues people have issues with their teeth and things like that so do what is best for you figure it out um, but you can chew harder foods that are going to work that muscle a little bit more a lot of our foods now are overly processed or very easy to chew don't require much chewing so our jaw lines are not as strong as they used to be when you know we used to have to eat harder stronger foods so you can eat harder foods that are going to build that muscle up you can chew gum there are little devices you can chew on that build up your muscle so whatever route you decide to go on you do you but strengthening up that masseter muscle can really create a nice angle to your face Next is using a gua sha or different types of facial tools. I have a new face, which is this very expensive, honestly overpriced device that I paid way too much for that I am not consistent with, so I don't notice a difference. If I was, maybe I would, but I don't know. I notice better results from this, which is $10 on Amazon. It's a gua sha, so basically what you do, you hold your skin and you just go up like this and you just kind of shape your face. It helps with puffiness. I use this in the morning and then before bed. Um, I could put like a little bit of oil on my skin and then I just use this to easily slide across my skin so that I'm not um, tightening my skin too much or pulling on my skin, which is obviously not good for your face and can create, uh, you know, premature aging and wrinkles. So we don't want to be doing that. We want to be careful. Um, but this can really make your jawline pop a little bit more if you have an event to go to, if you're going to be on camera. Uh, this is a really great thing to use. And, and I've noticed pretty good results from using this. You have to be consistent with it, of course, just like anything else. But it's only $10. And to be honest, I think it's worth it. 
And then again, as I mentioned with the facial hair, this can actually help your jawline as well. So this is another thing you can use to your advantage to make your face look more masculine, to make it look more structured. If you're a guy who has a bit of a round face, if you have a beard, it can kind of uh, conceal your double chin a bit. Um, it can also you know, make you look like you have more structure than you do if you shape your facial hair a certain way and you add a little bit of uh, shape and structure and angles in there, again, to make your face look more masculine and to enhance your jawline. And the last point I'll mention here when it comes to your jawline is just flat out working out and eating healthy. Do you know how many people have a beautiful jawline that is just waiting to be shown off to the world? Make some positive lifestyle changes like eating healthy, working out, taking care of yourself, and you could reveal that chiseled jawline. I have seen some insane before and afters. It's actually crazy the way that carrying extra weight around can make your face look drastically different. Example, when I lived in Italy and New York back to back in college and was eating too much pizza and pasta, my face looked like a basketball, okay? And now I have a pretty nice jawline. So not joking, it is real. If you are carrying extra weight around, a lot of people carry that in their face and it can make you look really puffy or bloated or just you know a little bit chubby in the face. So if you work on some positive lifestyle changes, lose a little bit of weight, again, I'm not a medical professional, so do what is best for you, you could reveal a beautiful jawline that again is just waiting to be unlocked. My next point I'm going to talk about is other grooming habits. So I know I mentioned looking healthy, but there are actually some different things you can do to your face as well um, that make you look more attractive that are really easy to do. Things like this are taking care of your eyebrows, your nose hairs, and your smile. If you're someone who has bigger eyebrows, thank your lucky stars because you are genetically blessed. Big eyebrows are considered to be more masculine. I have seen some studies done where they show two different faces and one guy will have like thicker eyebrows, one guy will have very thin eyebrows and women always choose or tend to typically choose the man who has the thicker, more full eyebrows. So if you're a guy watching this who has thin eyebrows, you know, sometimes these things are out of your control. However, there are some different little like growth serums you can put on your eyebrows to make them grow in a little bit more. People use these little micro needling things to promote uh, hair growth in places where they aren't currently experiencing it. So there are a ton of different things you can do there, but eyebrows is one of them. And regardless of what you've got going on in the eyebrow department, get rid of this unibrow. Nobody looks good with a unibrow. Trust me. Things like rogue nose hairs sticking out of your nose are very easy to get rid of. There is really no excuse for that. Just trim it up and you automatically look refreshed. And then I was honestly hesitant to talk about teeth because it is so incredibly out of our control for a lot of people. Genetics do play a huge role here and it's not your fault you weren't born with perfectly straight teeth or you couldn't afford braces growing up, right? So I want to start by saying with the smile department, you really just have to kind of work with the cards you've been given and work with what you've got. There are some things you can do to help your situation regardless, and that is, you know, making sure you have proper dental hygiene. Brushing and flossing is really important. Um, so those are like the bare minimums that you absolutely should be doing. I don't even feel the need to say that, um, but just covering my bases here. Use a tongue scraper to get rid of your stank breath. That's really important. I know we're talking about facial attractiveness here, but you could have the most beautiful face in the world. And if you open your mouth and it's like that episode of SpongeBob where he thinks he's ugly, but really he just has bad breath. It's not gonna, not gonna do anything for me. And if you're someone who struggles with a dull or yellow smile, you could use whitening products to make your smile a little bit more radiant and bright. I personally use a whitening toothpaste um, and that works really well for me. Again, do what is best for you. I know some people don't wanna necessarily, you know, thin the enamel on their teeth or wear that down. I know sometimes whitening products can be a bit abrasive and harsh. So do what works for you. If you don't care about having a pearly white smile, that's all up to you. But I do think your smile is one of the first things that people notice when they look at you. And even if you don't necessarily have the straightest, whitest, most perfect teeth in the world, I think you know a smile does go a long way. And the last thing I want to talk about here that I don't typically see in facial attractiveness videos is making eye contact and just your facial expressions in general. Body language makes a huge difference when it comes to first impressions and attraction. And the same is true for your face and the body language that is your face. Making eye contact, for example, is one of the most powerful body language tools to utilize. It makes you look confident, which we all know is important. Women love a confident guy. I've told you that millions of times. You're probably sick of hearing it. 
But it also shows that you're interested and engaged in what people are saying. You know, if you're looking at someone making eye contact versus looking away, looking really nervous and shy, you're gonna leave a different impression there. And most people are probably more likely to find the confident, engaging guy making eye contact more attractive than the guy who is being very skittish or not making any eye contact and looking at the ground like this. Eye contact is also one of the most intimate uses of nonverbal communication. So when we're talking about attraction here and interacting with women, eye contact is a really great way to build that sexual tension and just create you know, a lot of intimacy there without even saying anything. And this is really interesting. It says, research has shown that men rate women as more attractive if their first impression is their beautiful, smiling face, but women's preferences for men are exactly the opposite. They find that the most attractive first impression is when a man is brooding and mysterious. It's also known as the smolder. So back to my last point, if you don't have the most beautiful smile in the world, it doesn't even freaking matter because women would rather see you looking like this. No smile needed. This also says that women rated the men with brooding, mysterious facial expressions the highest because it made their faces look more masculine, something women subconsciously desire and look for when choosing a mate. And this is just in our biology, right? There are certain things that no matter how much we progress as our society, our lizard brains still go back to our biology and what we are you know, conditioned to look for and find attractive in the opposite sex and in another person in general. And again, I think a lot of it goes back to looking healthy and looking masculine. The same way men find women attractive who look healthy and look very feminine, the same can be true for men, just the opposite. And I know, of course, genetics play a role here. I'm sure I'm going to get a lot of comments about that, and there's no denying it, right? We are all unique, we all look different, but regardless of the cards that we've been given, there are things that we can do to make ourselves look more attractive by just putting in a little bit of effort, being the best version of ourselves. That goes back to exercising, you know, living an active lifestyle, eating healthy foods that make us look better too. A lot of people don't always recognize the correlation between your health on the inside versus your attractiveness on the outside. So just something to keep in mind. All right, guys, that is all I have for this video. If you liked it or found it helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to be in the loop for when I release new content. If you haven't already, be sure to follow me over on Instagram at Courtney Christine Ryan. I love connecting with all of you guys over on there as well. As always, thank you all so much for watching and I will see you all next time.